It's Sunday morning and we're just leaving Kujikabak National Park. We're heading up to Mount Carlton Provincial Park. We were there last year and this year we're going to see what other trails are around. We're heading west on Route 180, heading towards Mount Carlton. We just passed the point where we lost cell phone reception, which is expected, and we're probably going to hit the spot where we're going to get no telephone poles soon. We started the day with some great sunshine when we left the National Park. And of course, we're less than a half hour away from Mount Carlton, and the rain has started to dry. One of the problems going away for four days in a row is you don't know what the forecast will be, so you gotta be prepared with footwear, especially with Kirsty just getting back up on her feet for the hikes. We wanted to make sure we had enough. We're all set up at Mount Carlton campsite. Quite pleased with the way we have our tarp set up, just in case another flash downpour happens. But since it is trying to drizzle now, we decided to save the walking for tomorrow. You know, we're just taking a drive along the roads in the back of the country. Monday morning, our first morning waking up at Mount Carlton Provincial Park. We decided to go for a little bit of a drive this morning past the lodge where all the geese were yesterday. We had no luck finding any wildlife in the park, other than a gross. So we decided to take adventure outside the park to see what we could find. continued on the drive outside of the park, we ended up getting close to Grand Falls, so we stopped by to see the waterfalls there. While we were at Grand Falls, I was excited to see that there were zip lines going across. Unfortunately, they were closed for the day due to the bad weather. And now we're on our way back and the skies are looking a little more dark than they were before. We're just about back into Mount Carlton and we're taking some logging roads. Not only do we figure that, who knows, we may see a moose, but it's just cool to see different vantage points of nature. Sure enough, we did find some moose tracks. Not the most fresh, but hey, better than the moose droppings that we saw when we were down at the Fundy Trail. 
We're getting closer to seeing the moose, maybe one of these days. Back in the park just in time to do one more trail fortunately it stopped drizzling for now anyway so we're going to go down to the waterfalls another near miss for us seeing a moose there's a bunch of moose droppings As with all the trails in the park, you're expected to sign in and sign out so they know everyone is accounted for. Being passionate about emergency response, I was very intrigued when I saw this trailer. I'm being told that they just acquired it and are in the process of customizing it in-house. Now that we're done at the waterfalls, we're going to take a stop back at the lodge. It's nice and cool today, so we have the fans going in the Jeep and the dogs will stay in there because no dogs are allowed on the property. At the back of the lodge is a large comfort center. It's available 24 hours a day. Even after hours, you can gain access through the back doors. There's a fireplace with provided firewood that you can have a fire. There's also Wi-Fi here along with plugs that you can charge your devices. Inside the main lodge are more seating areas that are available during business hours, as well as a small store that you can buy items that you may have forgotten, along with some ice cream and other treats. Here at Mount Carlton Provincial Park, we stay at a Site 22. It's a nice site, 
right in the corner. And one of the nice features that we didn't realize, we got our own private back path going to the washroom. It's not that long of a walk either way, but still cool little secret path. This side is more uphill than we anticipated, but we were able to find a level spot with the help of the leveling jacks. And the solar panels fit perfectly right in the front here. Wednesday morning, we're all checked out of Mount Carlton campsite. We're on our way home. Don't know if we're gonna make any stops because the weather's looking a little uh, dubious. Curse pointed out this morning, the only thing that was almost more elusive than the moose was the sun. But we still had a good time. On Route 180, the roads are not the best. Be prepared for a rough ride as you're gonna be going out to Mount Carlton. Part of the joys of traveling during the summer months is construction. Bound to happen, I know it's a necessary evil. It's uh, some of the traffic backups are a little bit longer than expected, but, well. We're back in Nova Scotia, buttons. pee break at the interpretive trail here in DeBert. Unfortunately, it's still closed from all the storms that happened last year. The sky is trying to be uh, a little bit clearer, but that little bit of sky is not giving me much hope compared to all the black clouds around it. We had a good four days away. Two of them down towards Kujimaquack and then two of them to Mount Carlton. It's always fun having an extended getaway. Thanks for coming along with us. Now we're off for our next adventure.